I'm Todd from Apex Base, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of the features, both optional features and standard features of the Apex DP. We're going to start here at the harness. This is an articulated harness. You'll notice it because it has a hip ring. This allows freedom of movement of the lower portion of the harness, the leg straps, and the same area that your hip moves. So this gives you a lot of freedom in movement of the harness. A non-articulated harness is a little bit lighter and is getting preferred by some people that are really trying to cut all the weight off, but this is the articulated harness. We'll move down into the saddle bag. Again, this is an option in our containers. It's going to give you the option to carry all those extras that you have when you get to the exit point. Water bottle, hats, gloves, whatever it may be. Basically gives you a zippered pocket on each leg strap, a couple of stow loops, put whatever you need to, safety items, comfort items, whatever works for you. Those are the saddle bags. We'll move next into the bottomless corners. This container does have them. You really can't see anything different about them when the rig is packed. However, when the rig is unpacked is when you really notice those features. Open the container up and you'll notice that the corner down here that can be sometimes sewn up in a standard configuration is open. So as soon as that pin is pulled, this gets nice and flat. Why would you want that? Anytime the parachute is trying to be deployed out the back, let's say you're head down after an aerial or you're tracking so hard in a wingsuit or just a good hard tracking jump, the canopy will be extracted, be pulled out the back. The sewn in corners can bump the container. An open corner down here, a bottomless corner, doesn't have anything it can bump into. So off heading uh, openings and line twists are less likely to happen. So again, bottomless corners. Move into some of the uh, cosmetic uh, options here. Uh, this particular rig has pin striping. If you notice the black stripe here between the orange and the gray, that is one location of the pin stripe. We would also have one on each side of this tie-dye flap, which if you were to uh, request or if the rig was available with a pin protector flap accent, we would put the pin striping there. We would also put pin striping on the mud flap, the top and bottom. Again here, the black stripe on the top and the bottom. Another option that you'll see listed on our order form is what's called a mag bridle. A mag bridle has a little pocket built into the top flap here, which when you're all packed up, you don't even see, it is holding a magnet. There would also be a magnet on the bridle itself. These magnets are used with a handheld pilot chute. It's going to take the bridle from the bottom of the container. The bridle would stop at the upper shoulder here and then go on out to the hand. What that will do is it will help prevent getting the bridle underneath the bottom of the container and around the elbow. And this can be uh, especially troublesome if you ever have a tailwind. So it really helps us control the bridle during a handheld jump. Our standard rig would come with what we call a three ring attachment riser. So at the shoulder, you'd have a three ring attachment with a cutaway housing, a cutaway cable. The housing is located on the back side of the main lift web. This is standard three ring attachment. The option would be to get into a non detachable or built in riser. And that would be something that would be more like this. There's no hardware at the riser and they're all built in. This is more resembling a, like a reserve riser of a skydiving rig. The upside to a system like this is there is no possibility of an unintentional cutaway. You don't have to worry about the cutaway handle. You don't have to worry about the cable and the white loop and all of that. They're also lighter. You lose close to one pound by getting rid of all the hardware that's associated with the housings, the handle, and the hardware. It's also a little softer. Rather than having a bunch of hardware going over your shoulder, you have none of that, so it's a little bit softer. Another standard feature on Apex gear is a pocket that's built into the bag pad. This is a place where you can carry your stash bag during the jump. Obviously, your stash bag is being used to put all your equipment in for your hike up, but during the jump, you need a place to put it. So we build a pocket on the back pad that's both has top load capabilities as well as a side load capability. So that's for the stash bag. Then we also put yoke pockets on both sides of the yoke. There's a pocket right here. 
This is great for putting smaller items, a pull-up cord, tailgate, driver's license, a couple bucks, whatever you might need on the back side of the yoke. And those are standard features. We also have uh, a hook knife that can be, uh, that is part of the chest strap assembly. It does have the ability to come off, but it's nice and secure and always in the same spot if you ever need it. So there's the hook knife. Those are the features of the Apex gear, spe specifically with the DP and some of the other gear that we offer. If you have any other questions, make sure you check us out at apexbase.com. We'll see you at the exit point.